Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how I add a new board definition to the Arduino IDE. If you're like me and you get a new development board and you go to the IDE and you select the board type and it's not there, what do you do? How do you get around that? How do you solve the problem? I've got two new boards there, so open up the folder where the Arduino executable image is, uh, go to the hardware folder, go to the expressive folder. This video is in two parts, a demonstration here and a more detailed explanation. Uh, get Copy the boards folder, create a copy just in case you make a mistake, open up the variants folder. I, I choose the basic ESP32 dev board, make a copy of that. Um, in this case I'm going to call it, actually I'm going to call this one do it, which is the other board type I've got. So no need to change anything in there unless you want to change any of the pin definitions of pins underscore Arduino. Go to the boards file and then copy the ESP32, if you like the basic ESP32 definition, copy that and then paste that in again. Now rename the prefix is to your new board name and in this case so that's ESP32 do it and then I'm going to use copy and replace to quickly go down this list of file types I'm doing this uh, live if you like I just change that to do it hyphen do it and then replace all those I've done replace all before and ended up making a mistake because there are other ESP32 references in this file. So it's only these we want to do. Okay, there it is all done. There's a couple of other changes you need to make. The board name there is do it or ESP Lowland32 Lite, whatever name you want to use. Save it. Close that. Go back up to the executable Arduino, start the IDE, go to Tools, Boards, scroll down and there's the new board definition. So don't forget you can go in and edit pins underscore Arduino in that folder and change the LED pin number and so on. Okay, so that was a, a quick live demonstration of how to do it. Now this is a more detailed, methodical, step-by-step -step process. So my development board isn't listed. I want to add in a different example, a Lowland ESP32 Lite board. And uh, so there's already a Lowland32 board in there. So I'm going to use that as my basis. So it's find this location here, which is the variance folder under ESP32. Select the file to be copied. Copy it and rename it to, in this example, Lowland32 Lite. Make a copy of the board. So boards and boards copy in case you make a mistake. Now edit the, uh, scroll down to your board definition, the one you copied, which was Lowland32. Copy all the boards, copy the board definitions, and um, I've taken out the lines. There's a lot of lines, so to get it on the screen here, I've removed a few just for clarity. So the grey area denotes copy, and then paste that new that copy of the board back in as a new section between the hash lines. Go through and rename all of the references to Lowland32 to Lowland32 Lite or whatever name you're using. Save the file, open up the IDE and check that the new board is listed and it is and it's ready for use. That's it folks, I hope you enjoy.